Ray, you made your second signing this week, Prince Bob, and joining the club. Um, you've already seen him in action, played in the bounce game at Livingston on Tuesday. I'm pleased to get him in the door. Yeah, we're delighted. Uh, you know, Prince brings a wealth of experience, very good player. Um, you know, he'll do really well, well for us in the, in the foreseeable future. He's not where we want to be in terms of fitness at the moment, so we, we've got a bit of time. We'll work hard with him, and uh, you know, but he's been in training, and uh, he just looks a class act when he's when he's in training. So, um, hopefully, from from now to the end of the season, if we can keep him that long, which I'm hopeful we will, um, he'll be a real asset for us. In that respect, the week the wee break over the next couple of weeks might do him some yeah, good. Yeah, timing couldn't be better. So, over the next two weeks, we'll work hard with him uh, gradually. We'll not just throw him at the the wheels, but we'll gradually, you know, work with him and, and build his fitness and and hopefully get him into a shape where he can start, uh, you know, helping the team. First three points last weekend, you can sense it's a, not a relief, but it's going to lift the place. Yeah, it was a relief. Um, it was a relief. You're right. Um, it, it was important that we got the three points, and we need to start and get started. And you know, we're delighted to come away with three points last week. Uh, it, it sets us up nicely going into the Dunfermline game. And you know, I, I'm really looking forward to the game on Saturday. Everybody's telling me what a, uh, an electric derby it can be, so uh, I'm really looking forward to experiencing that. So, but you no, know, we've had a good week this week. You can imagine that there's a wee spring in their step, and uh, hopefully we can carry on the improvement that I think I've been seeing in the, the games leading up to tomorrow. You've had plenty of experience yourself in derby matches. What, do you have a certain message you give to players ahead of them? Is it cool heads or? Um... Yeah, yeah, probably um, all the usual stuff. Uh, but realistically, it just comes down to on the day that they go out and they, they, they play their game. You know, they keep that discipline about them. I've been drumming into them discipline, 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 and uh, hopefully that's sinking in. You know that we have to keep a, a good discipline, especially when we've not got the ball. And, and, and that discipline also into the game, you know, in terms of how they conduct themselves and how they go about their business. So the messages will be the same, but hopefully, we're, hopefully we can start, you know, and putting something together where we can be really consistent in our performances, and you know, hopefully we can start that tomorrow. With a big support obviously here behind you, we're looking to get them going right from the start. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, as I said, everybody's been talking about it all week, so hopefully the atmosphere's good. I believe the the south stand's been sold out, and uh, it should be a cracking game. Just finally, you welcomed Jordan McGee back last week, so much better news and injury front. Yeah, um, Jordan come back in last week again. Unfortunately, he's not exactly where we need him to be, but he, he, he's one of these players that will give you everything. His attitude's been great, and I think I touched on that last week. He's, he's To get himself in a decent shape to, to declare himself fit for Saturday's game last week was incredible. So he's the right type, you know, uh, motivated to do well, and uh, you know we're delighted to have him back. Ray, all the very best for tomorrow, and we'll speak to you after the game. Thanks, Connor.